I really believe in seeing a note through from beginning to end. So until I met Pepe Jr., uh, I thought it started with composition and choosing the note and rhythm, its place and time, and playing it or singing it and recording it, and capturing it, and mixing and mastering and graphic design to frame uh, the, the concept and the emotion you're trying to create. Uh, but then when I met Pepe, uh, I could actually go a step earlier and work with wood and work with designs and shapes and tone and sound and not have to engineer it with my parametric EQ, but actually do it with bracings and wood and body shapes and sound hole sizes. And um, it's really been a wonderful learning experience. We've been working together for eight years in developing the Romero Creations line. And it's basically like writing a song with wood. I think as musicians, we're always searching for the perfect instrument, the perfect sound, but we're also looking for uniqueness. So we want something that is a signature sound. You hear that, it's like, oh, that's so-and-so. And to be able to do it with an instrument, both visually, like this spouted mango and a, and a lute-shaped, a modern lute-shaped body, uh, is, is kind of important because that is your voice, like a singing voice. Like you hear Celine Dion singing, that's Celine Dion, no one else sounds like that. Um, you know, as instrumentalists, we're looking for that same uh, identifiable tone. And we're also looking for function. So, you know, designing instruments that are portable, like our baritone ukulele that plays like a guitar. And um, it makes a, it's like a dream come true. It makes a difference. You travel, you just put it on the overhead and, and do your gig and no compromise in sound. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of, we're just seeking out things and, and looking for solutions. back to um, instrument design mm -hmm. and how we brace things to keep the center of the soundboard open. Pepe does a reverse fan bracing on the top to allow this to resonate. And another thing that I pay a lot of attention to is resonant frequencies of an instrument. So I do our mixing and mastering. And in acoustic instruments, you always have resonant frequencies that are uh, the result of the size of the body, the bracing, upper, lower bout have different resonant frequencies and it gets a little complex when you have a combination of those things. So this instrument is all lower bout and the low notes resonate and the higher notes, they all have a spot in the instrument and I'm looking for a more even sound. And um, the open resonance, I find that it's, it's pretty important to try to use the sustain and the open. If you're looking for a big sound, you know, but if you're looking for like a tight choke sound, then, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> 